सो गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू इस प्रेशर इन टू नंबर ऑफ स्टेजेस इज इक्व टू डिजायर सेपरेशन नो रिमेंबर इंक्रीज इन रिफ्लक्स रेट और रेशो increase in required number of ideal stages decrease in the pressure changing the duty of reflux rate from saturated liquid to cold liquid these four things are the potentials or resources that helps to achieve the desired separation if you do any one of them the potential of the column increases now that potential can be utilized in achieving more separation or that potential can be utilized in decreasing the number of required stages because number of stages is basically the fixed cost so if somehow we can decrease the fixed cost that will be a good money saved so by increasing the other potential i can decrease the potential of the tray or increase in any potential i can increase the separation so this is the basic fund yaar itna yaad rakhna hai कि ये जो चार चीजें हैं ये चारों की चारों चीजें पोटेंशियल की तरह काम करती है इंक्रीज इन एनी वन ऑफ देम और चेंज इन एनी वन ऑफ देम चेंजेस द सेपरेशन तो इंक्रीज इन द रिफ्लक्स रेट इंक्रीजेस द सेपरेशन इंक्रीजेस द रिक्वायर्ड नंबर ऑफ आइडल स्टेजेस इंक्रीजेस द सेपरेशन डिक्रीज इन द प्रेशर ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेज द सेपरेशन एंड चेंजिंग द ड्यूटी ऑफ द रिफ्लक्स रेट ऑल्सो इंक्रीजेज द सेपरेशन सो बाई डूइंग एनी वन ऑफ दीज लिस्टेड फोर थिंग्स we can increase the separation or if we keep the separation same then change in one can affect on the required number of ideal stages we can have less number of stages if we increase in the reflux ratio we can have less number of stages if we decrease the pressure we can have less number of stages if we change the duty so one three four have the effect on the number of ideal stages but all four have the effect on the separation so either you can increase the separation or keeping the separation same you can change the number of ideal stages so that is the basic fund atisha itna hi hame yaad rakhna hai theek hai to itna hame yaad rakhna hai that will be more than enough That is very simple to understand. मैं सिंपल वे में बता दी आपको कि इतना हमें याद रखना है इतना हमें याद है तो हो जाएगा दैट इज मोर देन इनफ सो टमोरो वो स्टडीड द फीड लाइन डायग्राम okay so for the cold liquid this is the feed for the saturated liquid this is the feed and for the partial liquid this is the feed so these are the three feeds for different type of three feed lines for different type of feed cold liquid saturated liquid and partial liquid so let's say if i join them so we have three intersection points this is the first point for the cold liquid 
this is the point for the saturated liquid and this is the point for the partial liquid so if you look at this point of intersection then the point of intersection let's say it is denoted by x dash so that means if the feed is cold then the x coordinate of the point of intersection of rectifying line and feed line lies between xd and xf when the feed is saturated liquid then the x coordinate of the point of intersection will be same as the xf same as the xf and when the feed is partial liquid then the point of intersection of the feed line and the rectifying line lies between xf and xw so that is another comparison that if the point of intersection is given to me then by looking at the x coordinate i can verify what is the type of feed so i can say for cold liquid feed for cold liquid feed the x coordinate of the point of intersection will be less than xd but it will be greater than xf for saturated liquid feed the x coordinate of the point of intersection will be same as xf and for the partial liquid feed the x coordinate of the point of intersection will be less than xf but will be greater than xw so if the point of intersection is given to me i can determine the type of feed based on the x coordinate now if the feed is partial vapor this will be the feed line feed is saturated vapor this will be the feed line and feed is superheated vapor this will be the feed line so let us join them again with the xd xd point so these are the three feed lines for the vapor partial vapor saturated vapor and superheated vapor now if you look at the partial vapor the y coordinate of the partial vapor this is the y coordinate okay this y coordinate is lying this y coordinate is this is yf and this you can say yd this you can say yw so that means when the feed is partial vapor then the y coordinate will be less than yd but it will be greater than yf in the same way when the feed is partial so not partial saturated vapor y coordinate will be same as yf for the saturated vapor so when the feed is saturated vapor and i can say the y coordinate and here you can look at the y coordinate this is the y coordinate for superheated vapor so when the feed is superheated vapor superheated vapor so that is the comparison so by looking at the y coordinate we can look for the vapor feed by looking at the x coordinate we can look for the liquid feed so this is this topic name is identification of the type of feed based on the point of intersection identifying identification of type of feed based on based on 
द पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ द फीड लाइन एंड रेक्टिफाइंग लाइन so that is the name of the topic if the point of intersection is given to us then we can determine the type of feed if you look at the y coordinate of all the three here if you look at the y coordinate here 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 okay this point is your yd and this point is your yf so all the three points lying between yd and yf so that means in these three cases the y coordinate must be lying between yd and yf and if you look at here the about the x coordinate x coordinate x coordinate x coordinate so all the three x coordinates lying between these two so for this case for this case the x coordinate will be less than xf but greater than xw so that means not only we check x but also we check y so if the y coordinate is lying between these two we will check for x also or if x coordinate is lying between these two we'll check for y also so check for y as well as of x will give us the location or you can say the identification of the feed tray so this is how we can identify the type of feed so that is a topic in front of you if you have any doubt you can ask it is related to the identification of the type of feed तो टेस्ट दे दिया आप सबने मास ट्रांसफर का जो टेस्ट टेस्ट सीरीज में अपलोड हुआ था हैव गिवन द टेस्ट यस ओके सैटरडे को देंगे ओके सो आई डिजाइन इट वेरी इजी काफी बेसिक रखा था बिकॉज बेसिक लेवल टेस्ट सीरीज है तो आई कैप्ट इट बेसिक तो आई होप कि 60 परसेंट मार्क्स यू कैन गेट इफ यू जस्ट प्रिपेयर फॉर वन डे ऑल्सो देन ऑल्सो यू कैन गेट 60 परसेंट मार्क्स आउट ऑफ दैट सो आर यू गेटिंग 60 परसेंट मार्क्स और नोट दोज हु ऑलरेडी गेव इट लाइक विकास गेव इट ख्याति गेव इट 2022 ओपनिंग वालों को भी देना है दे दो यार विषय कोई दिक्कत नहीं है अगले साल फिर नया बनेगा तो ऐसा नहीं है तुमने इस साल दिया तो अगले साल भी वही देना है ना अगले साल नया बनेगा एवरी ईयर देर इज ए चेंज तो अगर तुम प्रैक्टिस करना चाहते हो तो दे सकते हो कोई नुकसान नहीं है मतलब टेस्ट देने में कभी नुकसान नहीं होता फायदा ही होता है तो अगर आप दे सकते हो तो दे दो ठीक है तो सैटरडे को दे देना ओके सो मैकैप थ्री डायग्राम की बात करते हैं मैकैप थ्री डायग्राम सो वी कंस्ट्रक्टेड द मैकैप थ्री डायग्राम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी कंस्ट्रक्टेड द इक्विलिब्रियम कर्व बेस्ड ऑन द एम पर्पस वॉन्ट that y has to be greater than x more volatile should be more in vapor phase in comparison to the liquid phase then we plotted the known points then we plotted the known points which is xd xf and we calculated xw based on the material balance then we substituted the xd on the rectifying section operating line and we calculated the value of yd which is same as xd 
we calculated the value of yf which is same as xf we calculated the value of yw which is an imaginary point but same as xw so after we having all the three points i made the feed line by assuming that the feed is saturated liquid and then i told you that let us assume a value of r and based on that value calculate the slope and based on that slope draw the rectifying section operating line ट्रस्ट में काफी सिली मिस्टेक्स हुई है ओके ऐसा होता भी है विकास हा गेट में भी ऐसा ही होता है लाइक ऑन समे वन ऑफ यू इज आस्किंग ना कि वट इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन ए रैंकर एंड एन एवरेज स्टूडेंट ओके सो दैट इज अगेन ए बिग डिफरेंस सिली मिस्टेक्स आई टोल्ड यू द स्टूडेंट हु इज गेटिंग ए रैंक अंडर फाइव हंड्रेड और गेटिंग ए रैंक अंडर हंड्रेड इज इक्वल इन टर्म्स ऑफ नॉलेज but the yes the main difference is also the silly mistakes sometimes you read plus as minus you read 0.2 as 0.1 you read 0 as infinity you do some very silly mistakes and because of that the question will give you the negative marking so these silly mistakes takes you out of the league which is a double digit rank takes you out of the league and forces you to go to triple digit ranks theek hai so it's very important to remove the silly mistakes and obviously the silly mistakes can be removed just by the practice i told you practice is matrices and determinants practice the complex numbers practice the um, vectors okay practice the limits and continuity practice the numerical methods all the iterations etc so mathematics is a very good subject to remove the silly mistakes because silly mistake mostly happens in the data or while the calculation so if your mathematics is very strong then the chances of doing a silly mistake is very low because for any other technical subject you first read the question and conceptually you will try to solve that in your mind first hai na so chances of a conceptual mistake is very low so when you apply the concept to write down the data on your notebook and then based on the formula or the concept you will try to solve it so when you are going to solve it in that solution you do the silly mistake so silly mistake is a calculation problem is not a conceptual problem and calculation problem can be avoided if you work hard a lot in mathematics or you can say aptitude also so your mathematics and aptitude calculations if strong then it will help to improve calculation in other subjects also and the probability of not doing the silly mistake will increase theek hai so those who are doing the silly mistakes for them this is a suggestion this is an advice that uh, practice a lot in the mathematics subject and in this way you can improve on your um, calculations and uh, can eliminate your silly mistakes ya jaya sagar math mein ncert book is enough for uh, limits and continuity but it is not enough for the practice if you want practice then obviously in the ncert there are there is not of not a lot of questions so for doing a lot of questions you need help books so you can choose any of the help books ncert can give you the fundamental idea that is required for the gate but for the practice you need to solve more questions like probability i told you in the conditional solve as many questions as you can and that's why i told you to go for some help book okay the basic idea is practice makes you perfect ओके सो मैं कैब थे पे आता है दोबारा कम बैक ऑन टू दैब थे सो अप टू दिस पॉइंट वट एवर आई टोल्ड यू इज हंड्रेड परसेंट करेक्ट बट आफ्टर दैट आई टोल्ड यू लेट अस एज्यूम ए वैल्यू ऑफ आर कैलकुलेट द स्लो विच इज आर बाय आर प्लस वन एंड ड्रॉ द रेक्टिफाइंग लाइन नाउ दैट पॉइंट ओके इज नॉट हंड्रेड करेक्ट बिकॉज वी कैनोट एज्यूम आर 
हम आर एज्यूम नहीं कर सकते वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट आर एंड दिस इज द ओनली वर्क ऑफ द केमिकल इंजीनियर टू कैलकुलेट द रिफ्लक्स रेशो सो हेयर देर इज अ लिटल यू कैन से अपडेशन इन मैकैप थिले हाउ टू ड्रॉ द मैकैप थिले एंड द लिटल अपडेशन इज आफ्टर रीचिंग दिस स्टेप वट वी डू वी एक्सटैंड द फीड लाइन सो एज इट हिट्स द इक्विब्रियम कर्व so we extend the feed line up to this point after extended the feed line up to this point we join it with the point xd xd now let's say this point is x dash y dash so if i join this point with that point i can calculate the slope of the rectifying line which is obviously xd minus y dash divided by xd minus x dash and uh, this slope of rectifying line will be equals to the r by r plus 1 but this r by r plus 1 is minimum because the rectifying line hits the equilibrium curve only when the reflex ratio is minimum and from this you can calculate the r minimum which is xd minus y dash divided by y dash minus x dash that we already studied after having the r minimum you calculate the r minimum with an appropriate factor that a process engineer will calculate or either tell from the experience and after calculating the r optimum we calculate the slope which is r optimum divided by r optimum plus 1 this is the slope and this slope becomes equals to tangent theta we calculate theta and then we redraw the line here with that actual theta we redraw the line and this is the actual line and then we join it with this and this becomes the actual mcaphile so this is how the actual mcaphile will look like where we there is no need to make any assumption about the reflux ratio because there is no need to assume reflux ratio when we can calculate the reflux ratio so this is how the mcaphile is being made after the step of drawing the feed line we don't assume the reflux ratio rather we extend the feed line to hit the equilibrium curve we join the point xd xd with that point we calculate the slope we calculate the r minimum we calculate the r optimum we recalculate the slope again and we redraw the rectifying line again and after that the stripping line and we have our mcaphile diagram so this is the little updation in the mcaphile i told you while uh, teaching you the mcaphile that this step i will tell you later on now that later has come has arrived and this is how we draw the mcaphile so you can note this down theek hai you can draw this graph you can note that thing so there is no need to assume the mcaphile as mcaphile no need to assume the reflux ratio as reflux ratio can be calculated with the help of minimum reflux ratio so please note down the point okay कौन सा पॉइंट नोट डाउन करना है बताओ अभिषेक मैं नोट डाउन कर लेता हूं इंग्लिश इज अ वेरी स्ट्रेंज लैंग्वेज अभिषेक इज वॉन्ट अभिषेक वॉन्ट्स टू से करा दीजिए बट मीनिंग निकल के आ रहा है कि कर लीजिए कैन यू प्लीज रिपीट वाई इट इज आर मिनिमम अरे नो नो इशू अभिषेक नो इशू आई एम जस्ट जॉकिंग या आई कैन रिपीट वाई इट इज आर मिनिमम in the topics of reflux ratio we we calculated we observed that if the equilibrium curve moves away from the equilibrium if the operating line moves away from the equilibrium reflux ratio increases and if operating line moves towards the equilibrium reflux ratio decreases if the operating line moves further away and becomes the diagonal line reflux ratio is maximum and if the operating line comes very near and hits the equilibrium curve then the reflux ratio is minimum <clears throat> okay we already explained that there is one more explanation again mathematical mathematical so the theta if you look at the theta this is the theta for this and this is the theta for the blue line so you can see that for the blue line theta is more 
but for the black line theta is less now whatever this theta is for the black line can this theta can we have one more line with a theta less than that can we redraw the rectifying line with a theta less than that let us try let's say this a line like this okay those there is a line like this and if i talk about the theta here the theta here is this so if we redraw the line if we draw a line with a theta less than this theta then that line has to cross the equilibrium okay us case mein hame equilibrium cross karna padega but we know that we cannot cross the equilibrium and this is the maximum point up to which we can go this is our limit we cannot go beyond that limit because we cannot achieve more than maximum okay so with respect to this point whatever the theta is that theta will be the minimum theta and below that theta we cannot proceed us theta se niche hum nahi ja sakte so let's say if this is theta 1 if this is theta 2 if this is theta 3 such that theta 3 is greater than theta 2 is greater than theta 1 so theta 3 belongs to the optimum reflux optimum reflux theta 2 belongs to minimum reflux and theta 1 belongs to imaginary reflux and why imaginary because theta 1 is not possible in this case because for theta 1 the rectifying line will cross the equilibrium curve and that is not possible it possible hi nahi hai so theta 2 is the minimum theta we can have theek hai theta 2 is the minimum theta we can have isse kam nahi ho sakta so if theta is minimum i can say tangent theta is minimum if tangent theta is minimum i can say slope is minimum if slope is minimum i can say r by r plus 1 is minimum and if r by r plus 1 is minimum i can say r is minimum and that's why i denoted r min for that so that is a mathematical explanation theek hai there can be numerous explanations but yeah as a mathematics teacher always it's better to give a mathematical point of view so this theta is the minimum theta and below this i cannot go so this is the minimum value of theta we can have and if theta is minimum tan theta is minimum tan theta minimum slope minimum slope minimum r by r plus 1 minimum because of that r is minimum and that's why i denoted this as r minimum <clears throat> okay r optimum is choice in distillation not compulsion as in absorption what is this r optimum is choice in distillation and not compulsion as in absorption <clears throat> चॉइस ऑन कंपल्शन ये दो वर्ड तो सिर्फ मैं ही यूज करता हूं और कहीं किसी बुक में यूज नहीं होते सो जया सागर हैव यू ऑलरेडी अटेंडेड माय मास्टर ट्रांसफर क्लास और हैव यू ऑलरेडी रेड माय नोट्स ओके शरंगा सर मेरा एक डाउट है माफ कीजिए डाउट पूछने के बारे में डाउट पूछने के लिए माफ क्यों करना बुद्धू व्हाट आर द पर्पस व्हाट इज द पर्पस ऑफ रिफ्लक्स इन डिस्टिलेशन ओके द पर्पस ऑफ रिफ्लक्स इन डिस्टिलेशन is to maintain the supply of liquid in the distillation column if you ask me the fundamental purpose this is the only fundamental purpose to maintain the supply of liquid in the distillation column in the same way if you ask me sir what is the purpose of boil up then i will say the main fundamental purpose of the boil up rate is to maintain the supply of vapor in the distillation column so distillation column cannot work if vapor and liquid both are not present so the purpose of reboiler is to maintain the supply of vapor and the purpose of condenser is to maintain the supply of liquid so reflux is there to maintain the supply of liquid boil up is there to maintain the supply of vapor that is the simplest answer okay jaya sagar ne reply nahi kiya jaya sagar 
have you already attended my master's class or do you have my class notes already with you just out of curiosity i am asking because this statement compulsion and choice it's invented by me <laughs> ओके सो डोंट वरी अभी हम चॉइस की और कंपल्शन की बातें नहीं करेंगे वी विल डू विल स्टडी दैट इन एक्सट्रैक्शन बिकॉज ऐसी बातें मैं एक्सट्रैक्शन में करता हूं सो so, अभी के लिए डिस्टिलेशन को बक्स देते हैं अरे जया सागर रिप्लाई तो करो यार कहा गए तुम मस्त वाला साइन डोंट वरी मस्त वाला असाइनमेंट मिल जाएगा तुम्हें ये चैप्टर कब खत्म होगा ओके अतिशा परेशान हो चुकी है सर डिस्टिलेशन कब से चल रहा है यार कब से हाँ जब से हमने होश संभाला तो उसे डिस्टिलेशन कर रहे हम परेशान हो चुके करते करते कुछ नया बताइए सो होप सो कि आज खत्म हो जाए मैं ट्राई करूंगा कि सारे टॉपिक्स भी करवा दू और आज खत्म भी कर दू In the total reflux ratio, we studied that the reboiler size, the reboiler duty, the condenser size, the condenser duty, the tray dia, the column dia, the liquid load, and the vapor load all are maximum. Just one thing is minimum, and that one thing is the required number of idle stages. So there is an equation known as Fensky equation, which helps us to determine that minimum number of idle stages. so in the case of in the case of total reflux ratio or i can say condition in the case of total reflux ratio or total reflux conditions required number of ideal stages required number of idle stages are minimum and can be calculated by the use of fensky equation so what is fensky equation it is ln of xd into 1 minus xw divided by xw into 1 minus xd divided by ln of alpha is equals to either n min or n min plus 1 or n min plus 1 plus 1 so we calculate the answer by this part and then you equate with either one of three depending upon the question and then you calculate the value of n minimum so this is how you calculate the value of n minimum for the case of total reflux ratio okay jay yeah, you attended so it's good yaar yeah, it's good you attended na theek hai to jab hum dusri baar attend karte hai to hame zyada samajh aata hai hai na ab aapko lag raha hoga ki ha काफी चीजें अब आपको अब दोबारा से अच्छे से समझ आ रही है बस फर्स्ट टाइम में इतना समझ नहीं आ पड़ा बट सेकंड टाइम में काफी अच्छे से समझ आता है वेरी गुड असाइन से पहले से शॉर्ट नोट्स एक बार करवा दीजिएगा या वो भी करना है काम लिटिल कंसेप्ट दिमाग में सब घुल मिल गए हैं ओके खिचड़ी बन गई कंसेप्ट की हाँ ओके सर एजियोट्रोपिक डिस्टिलेशन खुद पढ़ना है आ, नहीं पढ़ना उत्कर्ष एजियोट्रोपिक डिस्टिलेशन पढ़ना ही नहीं है खुद भी नहीं पढ़ना और हम भी नहीं पढ़ेंगे ये पढ़ना ही नहीं है इट्स नॉट इन द गेट सिलेबस ओके सीमा यादव सही कहा तीशा उत्कर्ष सर इमेजिनरी रिफ्लेक्स का पर्पस क्या है इफ इट इज इमेजिनरी कोई पर्पस नहीं है उत्कर्ष ये तो मैंने सिर्फ ख्याति को समझाने के लिए बताया था कि जो थीटा है वो इससे कम नहीं जा सकता और थीटा अगर इससे कम नहीं हो सकता तो ये मिनिमम थीटा है और मिनिमम थीटा है इसलिए आर मिनिमम है ठीक है जस्ट टू Explain it more clearly. I took the help of the word imaginary. Otherwise, distillation में कुछ imaginary नहीं है. एक तो भी कम हुआ. 
एजियोट्रोपिक डिस्टिलेशन एक्सट्रेक्टिव डिस्टिलेशन हमें नहीं करना है ओके बट या फ्लैश डिस्टिलेशन स्टीम डिस्टिलेशन वैकम डिस्टिलेशन बैच डिस्टिलेशन ये चार डिस्टिलेशन है जो हमारे सिलेबस में है वी ऑलरेडी स्टडीड द बैच डिस्टिलेशन एंड वी स्टडी टूडे द फ्लैश डिस्टिलेशन स्टीम डिस्टिलेशन एंड वैकम डिस्टिलेशन ठीक है तो ये हमें करने हैं सो आप लिख लो फ्रेंड्स की क्वेश्चन आई होप आपने लिख ली होगी ठीक है सो विद हेल्प ऑफ दिस यू कैन कैलकुलेट द रिक्वायर्ड नंबर ऑफ ट्रेस एंड आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू नथिंग इज मैं बाय डिफॉल्ट दिस इज द डिफॉल्ट अरेंजमेंट एंड मीन प्लस वन सर मैकैप और फ्रेंड्स के का फर्क क्या है श्रंगा मैकैप थिले मेथड इज फॉर द रिक्वायर्ड नंबर ऑफ आइडियल स्टेजेस but fans ke is a numerical method that gives me the minimum number of hydro stages okay from the mccab thile first of all mccab thile is a graphical method and from the mccab thile you can calculate the required number of hydro stages based on a range of reflux ratio so whether the reflux ratio is total or the reflux ratio is minimum or it is optimum for a range of reflux ratio you can calculate the required number of hydro stages by the graphical mccaphle method but only for the total reflux ratio when the number of stages are minimum there is a numerical method available okay wo wants a numerical you can say analytical so analytical method available which is known as the fanske equation so it's just the analytic analytics of the graphics basically so mccaphle is a graphical method while fanske equation is an analytical method okay shirish yesterday we studied that alpha varies from tray to tray so for fans ke question what will be the alpha value it's an average shirish it's an average whatever the alpha value given to us in the question it's an average of the alpha for the distillation okay again there is a method to calculate the average for the case of column this average is not an arithmetic average for the case of column this average is the geometric average geometric average of the two average values so first we calculate the average value of alpha for the stripping section then we calculate the average value of alpha for the rectifying section and then we calculate the average value by taking those two average values of the column theek hai to pehle maine stripping ka determine kiya rectifying ka determine kiya ye dono apne aap mein ek average hai in dono average ka fir se maine average nikala and that becomes the average alpha for the column so luckily hame average alpha to find out nahi karna hai that will be given to us but yes for the column this alpha is an average value of alpha that is defined for the whole column <laughs> main to kuch bhi nahi bataya abhi to maine kuch bhi nahi bataya jo dimag mein jayega शिरीश शिरीश ने पूछा कि अल्फा क्या मैंने बता दिया एवरेज अल्फा है श्रिंगा ने पूछा मैं क्या और उसमें क्या डिफरेंस है मैंने बता दिया डिफरेंस क्या है ठीक है अभी तो टॉपिक स्टार्ट भी नहीं हुआ ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट द न्यू टॉपिक फ्लैश डिस्टिलेशन इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल डिस्टिलेशन आप लैब में जब डिस्टिलेशन करते हो तो मेनली फ्लैश ही होती है सो देर इज अ कॉलम यू कैन से सेपरेटर बेसिकली नॉट ए कॉलम बिकॉज देर आर नो ट्रेस इन इट फीड इज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बट बिफोर द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द फीड द फीड इज पास थ्रू ए प्रेशर रिड्यूसिंग वॉल्व ए प्रेशर रिड्यूसिंग वॉल्व so through the pressure reducing valves throttling happens throttling is a topic you will study in thermodynamics that is known as the sudden expansion and before passing to the valve it is passed through an heat exchanger heat exchanger to which some amount of energy is being given and this is the feed basically
we are providing energy here we are vaporizing the feed here because in the separator there are no trays there is no reboiler there is no condenser तो जो भी एनर्जी देनी है जो भी कुछ करना है वो पहले से ही करके भेजना है पहले से उसको अच्छे से प्रैक्टिस करवानी है पहले से उसको उसको सबको सिखा देना है सारे रिसोर्सेस दे देने हैं सो देट जब वो स्टेज पे जाए या मैदान में जाए तो फिर वो रॉक कर दे है ना बिकॉज यहां पे कोई सपोर्ट नहीं है देर इज नो सपोर्ट हेयर इन द मेन फील्ड देर इज नो सपोर्ट सो वट द सपोर्ट वट द रिसोर्स यू वॉन्ट टू प्रोवाइड यू हैव टू प्रोवाइडेड बिफोर ठीक है सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द फीड इज प्री हीटेड विद हेल्प ऑफ हीट एक्सचेंजर इसे मैंने प्री हीट कर दिया देन इट इज पास थ्रू द प्रेशर रिड्यूसिंग वॉल्व थ्रू विच द थ्रोटलिंग हैपेंस एंड सडन एक्सपेंशन टेक्स प्लेस बिकॉज ऑफ दैट सडन एक्सपेंशन द फीड बिकम्स पार्शली वेपराइज सो दिस फीड इज ए पार्शली वेपराइज एंड पार्शल वेपराइजेशन वी अचीव विद द हेल्प ऑफ द or with the help of the uh, valve after that the partial vaporized feed enter in the separator the liquid will go down the vapor will go up from that liquid some vaporization will keep on going from that vapor some condensation will keep on going so vaporization condensation vaporization condensation it takes on for a given point of time and we keep on checking the concentrations of the liquid collected and we keep on checking the concentration of the vapors collected at the top and when we find the two or three consecutive data to be same then we say that whatever the separation can be achieved that has been achieved and now no further separation can be achieved so jitni separation ho sakti thi ho gayi hai ab isse zyada separation nahi ho sakti and then we finally extract our products the liquid product and the vapor product And this x y, this x y data we collect. So again, I am explaining. There is a feed, a generally liquid feed. We first preheat the feed with the help of heat exchanger. Okay, and after the preheating, this feed is passed through the pressure reducing valve. through which the sudden expansion takes place the feed becomes partially vaporized enters into the separator where the liquid goes down the vapor moves up the simultaneous vaporization and condensation takes place and the values of x and the values of time y will keep on changing but in finite in finite time is given in finite time is given to the operation infinite time is given to the operation so that equilibrium equilibrium what is equilibrium equilibrium is the maximum achievable separation so that equilibrium can be achieved so we will wait flash distillation mein kya karte hain wait karte hain wait karte hain aur concentration measure karte rehte hain and when the concentration data comes out to be same we stop the experiment we collect that data and that data becomes the one data of the txy diagram so basically the aim of the flash distillation is to collect the xy data that will be used for drawing the txy diagram theek hai so you can make this diagram i this diagram ko bana lo okay so jya sagar is asking average is geometric average yes jya sagar you are right vikas is asking sir underwood fans ke question syllabus mein nahi hai vikas underwood fans ke question is used to calculate the minimum reflux ratio for the case of saturated liquid and for the case of saturated vapor ठीक है मिनिमम रिफ्लेक्स रेशियो का फॉर्मूला हमने पढ़ा था एक्स डी माइनस वाई डैश डिवाइड बाई वाई डैश माइनस एक्स डैश दैट विल बी इनफ ओके अंडरवुड फैंस के क्वेश्चन एज सच कहीं मेंशन नहीं है बट अगर तुम फॉर्मूला उसका अपनी नोटबुक में लिखना चाहते हो तुम लिख सकते हो द पर्पज ऑफ अंडरवुड फैंस के इज टू कैलकुलेट द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ रिफ्लेक्स रेशियो फॉर द टू केसेस सेचुरेटेड वेपर एंड सेचुरेटेड लिक्विड 
so i don't want to increase the burden but yes if uh, you can write it or you can remember it you can write in your notebooks okay utkar sir ek basic question throttling kya real mean kya hai sudden expansion utkarsh throttling ka real meaning hai sudden expansion achanak se expand karna theek hai so c ki wajah se partial vaporization ho pati hai sir is the feed is continuous no obviously no this is not a continuous uh, distillation unit feed is passed it is preheated then it is throttled and then put in the flash uh, separator and then we will wait for the separator to give the outlet streams so it is not continuous ketan it's like a single ideal tray with the partial liquid or vapor feed yes ketan you can say it is the case you are right ek bar repeat about underwood fans ke atisha underwood fans ke equation is used to calculate the minimum reflux ratio for the case of saturated vapor and for saturated liquid saturated vapor and liquid feed ke case mein agar mujhe minimum reflux ratio nikalna hai to usko nikalne ke liye alpha ke terms mein ek formula hai jise bolte hai underwood fans ke equation तो फॉर्मूला आपको बुक में मिल जाएगा ठीक है आप लिख लेना बट एस एस देर इज नो क्वेश्चन ऑन दैट नॉट इन लास्ट ट्वेंटी इयर्स बट इवन इन लास्ट थर्टी इयर्स देर इज नो क्वेश्चन ऑन दैट सो अब लिख लेना लिखना है तो नो इश्यू विद दैट सो अबाउट दिस फ्लैश डिस्टिलेशन दिस पॉइंट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन्फोनाइट टाइम इज गिवन to the operation so that equilibrium can be achieved this is the most important point about the flash distillation okay so this is the reason why flash distillation is also known as the equilibrium distillation ise hum equilibrium distillation bhi bolte hain because equilibrium Okay, this is saying saturated liquid. Underwood fans' ke equation is used to calculate the minimum reflux ratio for saturated liquid feed and saturated vapor feed. ठीक है, saturated liquid feed और saturated vapor feed के लिए minimum reflux ratio निकालना है, तो हम underwood fans' ke equation का भी use कर सकते हैं. That gives us the answer in terms of alpha value. ओके सो ये पॉइंट आई होप आपने लिख लिया होगा दैट इन्फोनाइट टाइम इज गिवन टू द ऑपरेशन सो दैट द इक्विलिब्रियम कैन बी अचीव्ड एंड दैट इज द रीजन व्हाई फ्लैश डिस्टिलेशन इज आल्सो नोन एज इक्विलिब्रियम डिस्टिलेशन और ये पॉइंट भी आपने आई होप लिख लिया होगा दैट द मेन पर्पस ऑफ द फ्लैश डिस्टिलेशन इज टू जनरेट द एक्स वाई डाटा ये मेन पर्पस है एक्स वाई डाटा जनरेट करना टू जनरेट द एक्स वाई डाटा द फ्लैश डिस्टिलेशन इज यूज्ड और जैसा कि केतन ने कहा बिल्कुल ठीक बोला दैट ए फ्लैश डिस्टिलेशन यूनिट कैन बी थॉट ऑफ एज ए ट्रे इन द कंटिन्यूस डिस्टिलेशन यूनिट सो इफ ए कॉन्टिन्यूस डिस्टिलेशन यूनिट इज मेड अप of n trays then it can be thought of that it is similar to a network of n flash distillation units so agar ek continuous distillation unit mein n trays hai to aisa main bol sakta hu ki that is made up of a network of n flash distillation units theek hai so a single 
flash distillation unit represents a tray in continuous distillation unit or represents a tie line in the TXY diagram. Hmm. Okay, Pradeep, if infinite time is provided, will vapor lose heat or condense as the feed is in batch? Yeah, vapor will lose heat and it will condense. No doubt about that. Vapor apne heat bhi lose karegi or condense bhi hogi. So just one minute guys. This, this year interviews are going on in the IITs and the, in the ISC virtually. So we, along with the classes, we are also taking the mock interview sessions. So today is the ISC interviews. Okay. So uske regarding, kafi bachcho ne aaj interview diya hai. So usi ke liye call tha. Things have changed in this Corona times. Huh? Online classes and virtual interviews. <laughs> ओके शरंगा सर एक बार फ्लैश डिस्टिलेशन प्रोसेस बता दीजिए नोट्स लिखेंगे नोट्स ये नोट्स ही तो है जो मैं लिख रहा हूं ओके राइट डाउन फीड इज फर्स्ट प्रीहीटेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ हीट एक्सचेंजर फीड इज फर्स्ट प्रीहीटेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ हीट एक्सचेंजर एंड देन इट इज पास थ्रू ए प्रेशर रिड्यूसिंग वॉल्व Feed is first preheated with the help of an heat exchanger, and then it is passed through a pressure reducing valve, and then it is passed through a pressure reducing valve. After which, the feed becomes partially vaporized. After which, the feed becomes partially vaporized. Feed is first preheated with the help of heat exchanger, and then it is passed through a pressure reducing valve, through which sudden expansion takes place, and after which the feed becomes partially vaporized. First of, this partially vaporized feed enters into the separator. This partially vaporized feed enters into the separation or separator. Enters into the separator where infinite time is provided. Enters into the separator where infinite time is provided. Where infinite time is provided. Full stop. Liquid vaporize and vapors condense. Liquid vaporize and vapors condense. And a point will come. Liquid vaporize and vapor condense, and a point will come. A point will come when the rate of vaporization and rate of condensation become same. A point will come when the rate of vaporization and rate of condensation become same. A point will come when the rate of vaporization and rate of condensation becomes same. And the maximum separation has been achieved. And the maximum separation has been achieved. A point will come when the rate of vaporization and rate of condensation become same, and the maximum separation has been achieved. At this point, the x y data is collected. At this point, the x y data is collected. At this point, the XY data is collected, and the experiment is again repeated for some different 
value of the feed and the experiment is again repeated for some different value of feed full stop this helps us to generate the xy data for the txy diagram this helps us to generate the xy data in the txy diagram this helps us to generate the xy data in the txy diagram ओके सो मजा आता होगा वर्चुअल इंटरव्यू पे मजा शुरू में तो बहुत आता था ठीक है बट सच में बताओ तो वर्चुअल इंटरव्यू में एनर्जी काफी लगती है लॉट ऑफ एनर्जी सिमिलरली इन दी ऑनलाइन क्लास इन कंपैरिजन टू ऑफलाइन क्लास ठीक है द डिफरेंस इज देयर वी हैव टू पुट अप मोर एनर्जी बिकॉज वेन वी सी द स्टूडेंट ऑफलाइन इफ सिटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस then not only i give them the energy but they give them the give me the energy back so it's the exchange of energy basically with each other but yeah it's for, from the camera no camera cannot give me the energy <laughs> okay so i have to be self motivated to take the online class and also the virtual interview so it's a tough task basically okay ketan technology saved humanity else at the time of previous pandemics we could do nothing yeah technology is saving the humanity but uh, the globalization because of globalization this pandemic has reached almost every country in the previous pandemics chahe jitne bhi hue hai wo throughout the globe uh, to nahi gaye the because uh, the transportation the connection between the countries jitni duniya aaj choti hai utni duniya pehle choti nahi thi so that is another point फॉर द इंटरव्यूअर फॉर द इंटरव्यूअर या कष्ट तो है कोरोना टाइम्स थिंक अबाउट द रियल क्वालिटी एंड द रिलायबिलिटी ऑफ हायर एजुकेशन इन इंडिया ये शरंगा यू आर राइट स्पेशली इन द मेडिकल लाइन आई से सर आई एस सी गेट स्कोर पे एम बी ए भी ऑफर करता है उत्कर्ष करता तो है बट एम बी ए नहीं करनी चाहिए आई एस सी से या फिर आई आई टी से आई आई टी से आई एस सी आर नॉट मेमेंट फॉर एम बी ए इन द सेम वे दी आई आई एम अगर कल को आई एम बीटेक स्टार्ट कर देता है सो आई एम आर नॉट मेंट फॉर बीटेक ओके सो करने को लोग करते हैं बट कोई मतलब नहीं है पीपल इन परसेंटेजेस या पूरा पूरा शहर या पूरी पूरी कंट्री साफ हो जाती थी ना कितन पहले तो बिकॉज मेडिकल फैसिलिटीज तो थी नहीं जितनी आज है तो एक जगह हुआ एक जगह में सब खत्म हो गए बट अगेन कंटेनमेंट रहा वहां पे स्प्रेड नहीं हुआ जितना जितना आज हो रहा है सो दैट इज ए मेजर कंसर्न नाउ ठीक है फ्लैश इंस्टॉलेशन के बारे में नाउ फॉर द फ्लैश इंस्टॉलेशन देर आर टू वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स ठीक है राइट देम आउट मार्क देम ए स्टार नोट डाउन द फर्स्ट पॉइंट द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज चेंज इन क्वांटिटी change in quantity changes the quantity change in quantity changes the quantity that is the first point change in quantity changes the quantity is what i'm meaning here write down if we increase the feed flow rate if we increase the feed flow rate keeping the mole fraction of the feed same if we increase the feed flow rate keeping the mole fraction of the feed same then there will be a corresponding increase then there will be a corresponding increase in the liquid and the vapor flow rate there will be a corresponding increase in the liquid and the vapor flow rate there will be a corresponding increase in the liquid and the vapor flow rate change in the quantity changes the quantity which means if we increase the feed flow rate by keeping the mole fraction of the feed same then there will be a corresponding increase in the liquid and the vapor flow rate 
ठीक है सेकेंड पॉइंट दिस इज पॉइंट नंबर वन ना नोट डाउन द सेकेंड पॉइंट सेकेंड पॉइंट इज चेंज इन क्वालिटी चेंजेस द क्वालिटी चेंज इन क्वालिटी चेंजेस द क्वालिटी चेंज इन क्वालिटी चेंजेस द क्वालिटी ठीक है इसमें लिखो इफ वी चेंज द मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ द फीड इफ वी चेंज द मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ द फीड बाई कीपिंग द फ्लोरेट ऑफ द फीड सेम इफ वी चेंज द मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ द फीड बाई कीपिंग द फीड फ्लोरेट सेम If we change the mole fraction of the feed by keeping the flow rate of the feed same, then there will be a change. Then there will be a change in the vapor and the liquid mole fraction. Then there will be a change in the vapor and liquid mole fraction. <laughs> then there will be a change in the vapor and liquid mole fractions f mein change karoge to l aur v mein change aayega xf mein change karoge to x aur y mein change aayega this is the point change in quantity changes the quantity change in quality changes the quality so if you want to increase the quality of the product you need to increase the quality of the raw material if you need to increase the quantity of the product you need to increase the quantity of the raw material hai na like i will give you an example of our industry industry one of the industries chlor alkali industry where we produce the chlorine and we produce the alkali that is naoh now to produce the chlor alkali there are two very famous process one is known as the diaphragm process another is known as the mercury process in the diaphragm process the raw material used is of low quality okay low quality raw material raw material for that is nacl basically okay so the raw material used is of low quality while in the mercury cell process the raw material used is of high quality improved basically theek hai concentrated you can say or improved or uh, whatever the extra salts are there that have been removed so it is of more quality in mercury but less quality in diaphragm so what's the result the product of the diaphragm is also of less quality and very less concentrated but the product of the mercury cell which is naoh obviously is highly concentrated and of good quality so if you need good quality in the product you have to provide better quality of the raw material to the machines अगर मशीन को बेटर क्वालिटी ऑफ प्रोडक्ट रो मेटल नहीं मिलेगा तो वो हाई क्वालिटी ऑफ प्रोडक्ट नहीं दे सकता ठीक है मतलब कि जैसे गाय और भैंस को जैसा चारा खिलाओगे वैसा दूध मिलेगा सिंपल सी बात है ओके सो चेंज इन क्वालिटी चेंजेस द क्वालिटी एंड चेंज इन क्वांटिटी चेंजेस द क्वांटिटी द फर्स्ट पॉइंट जो हमने लिखा है चेंज इन क्वांटिटी चेंजेस द क्वांटिटी दैट पॉइंट इज यू कैन से द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द प्रोसेस नोन एज स्केलिंग because in our pallet plant we run the experiment in grams but in the commercial plant we run the experiment in the million tons okay so this is known as the scaling process from the pallet plant to the commercial plant we scale up the process so change in quantity changes the quantity ultimately need ultimately known as scale up okay so this is the scale up process basically and second point change in quality changes the quality that is used not for the scale up but used to generate the experimental data like here i told you flash distillation is used to collect the experimental data so what we do we keep the flow rate same always we are only interested in the quality so we keep on changing the quality here we keep on changing xf in order to change for x and y and in order to generate the different data okay so the change in quality wala jo point hai that is used for the lab scale in order to generate the data or the first point hai that is used to convert our lab scale project into the big scale project which is scaling so these two are very very important sir so what is the need of flash distillation when other type of distillations are available okay pradeep very good question but uh, 
I hope that you haven't thought about that point. This other distillations are available, but other distillations are used for distillations. Okay, steam distillation. Just a second, guys. So, Pradeep, I am telling ki all the other types of distillation, the purpose of all the other types of distillation is separation. I am interested in separating the more volatile from the less volatile. But here, I am not using flash distillation for the purpose of separation. I am using the flash distillation for the purpose of generating the data. So, purpose is different. So, what is the use of flash distillation when other distillations are present? Flash distillation is used for the purpose of generating the data while other distillations are used for the separation purposes. So, that is the answer of your question. Okay, so what are you talking about? Pradeep has come to understand. Postpone will not be gate exam. I have told you. No chance about that. Uh, preparation के लिए time मिल जाएगा. Preparation के लिए बहुत time है यार. Don't worry. Preparation के लिए बहुत time है. Sir, पूरा gate का syllabus कौन से month में खत्म होगा? October तक हो जाएगा. है ना? दिवाली आती है November में. So from uh, um, before Diwali we will finish for sure. ओके okay, अतिशा कॉलेज में डिस्टिलेशन दो वीक्स चला था जिसमें से क्लास वीक में चार डेज हुई थी और सर बुक चप चप चपाते थे एंड एग्जाम्स में नंबर भी कट करते थे कहते थे आई नीड द होल बी के दत्ता इन द एग्जाम ओके अतिशा कॉलेजेस में तो मजाक चलता है डिसाइड 5.5 मंथ्स फ्रॉम स्टार्टिंग गेट yeah, five or five months is the maximum time. Okay, but yeah, before November, it's already July going on. July, August, September, October. Already June ho gaya to na in the, towards the end of October it will be finished. Uh, okay, thank you, thank you guys. Yeah, for coordinating. So change in quality changes the quality and change in quantity changes the quantity. Okay. So that's a simple concept. I hope you will understand it. Flash distillation ke baare mein humne application pad li hai. Compare kar diya se continuous distillation unit se. Now the only thing left is the mass balance. So in the flash distillation the mass balance is F equals to L plus V. Second point is FXF is equals to LX plus VY. And generally in the books you will see Y as Y star. Aapko books mein amesha Y ke saath Y star milega. And the reason is this star indicates the equilibrium. As I already told that equilibrium has been achieved. So that equilibrium is shown by the Y star. So there is always a Y star here. And the meaning is Y star and X are in equilibrium. So there will be some equilibrium relationship that is given to you. And if the equilibrium relationship is not given, then they will give you the alpha value. So either for gate, we get a relationship. Okay, or we get a relationship. Or we get alpha value. Yeah, for alpha value mili. Or alpha value mili, to be y star is equals to alpha x divided by 1 plus alpha minus 1 into x. Take it. So we may gate kill the other. And the third point is FHF is uh, this is the enthalpy of the feed multiplied by the flow rate plus the Q amount of energy that is being given through the heat exchanger is equals to LHL plus VHV. So this is the enthalpy balance basically. So what is HF, HL, H? V, these three are the enthalpies of the feed, liquid and the vapor respectively. So, you three balance up. This is the mass balance, this is the component balance and this is the energy balance. Okay. So, enthalpy balance, this is the enthalpy of the feed multiplied by the flow rate becomes the energy given by the uh, heat exchanger. So, this is the total energy in and the total energy out is 
एल इंटू एच एल प्लस वी इंटू एच वी वेयर एच एफ एच एल एन एच वी आर दी एंथेल्पिस ऑफ द फीड लिक्विड एंड वेपर रिस्पेक्टिवली ठीक है सर इतना डिटेल डिस्टिलेशन तो सोचा ही नहीं था कि पढ़ने को मिलेगा <laughs> या अभी बहुत कुछ जानने को उत्कर्ष डिस्टिलेशन में ना अभी और भी जो टॉपिक्स रहते हैं उसमें भी तुम्हें काफी कुछ पता लगेगा एंड यस yes, जैसे केतन ने कहा कि हम मैं एक एक्सपेर असाइनमेंट भी दूंगा एंड व्हेन यू सोल्व दैट असाइनमेंट तो आपको और भी सीखने को मिलेगा ठीक है सो डिस्टिलेशन तो हर केमिकल इंजीनियर का बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग होना चाहिए ऑल्सो एल एन वी विल बी सेचुरेटेड लिक्विड एंड वेपर एज द रिप्रेजेंट टाइल यस केतन ये तो मैं ऑलरेडी बता ही चुका हूं कि जब भी पार्शियल वेपराइज या पार्शियल लिक्विड फीड होगी तो लिक्विड वेपर हमेशा सेचुरेटेड होगी सो दैट्स एन ऑब्वियस थिंग ओके श्रीरंगा सर अगर आपको बीटेक का सेकेंड ईयर थर्ड ईयर में मिला तो पूरा केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग का सोच और समाज सही तरह से होता और जब मिलना आसान होता कोर कंपनी में ऐसा कुछ भी ना होता श्रीरंगा बिकॉज अगर मैं शायद बीटेक में होता देन इनिशियली आई टीच लाइक दिस मैं शायद इतना एफर्ट डालता बट द स्टूडेंट्स इन द बीटेक वो इतना एफर्ट कभी ना डालते जितना आप अभी एफर्ट डाल रहे हो बिकॉज नॉट एवरी स्टूडेंट इन द बीटेक इज देयर फॉर द बीटेक मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट आर जस्ट फॉर द डिग्री सो दे डोंट इवन केयर अबाउट द क्लास ओके पीछे गेम चल रही होती है या कुछ कुछ चल रहा होता है सो नो इट्स नॉट अबाउट द फॉल्ट ऑफ टीचर ऑलवेज स्टूडेंट्स ऑल्सो इन द डिग्री इज नॉट सीरियस ओके यू गाइज आर सम स्पेशल गाइज हु वॉन्ट्स टू रिमेन इन देयर कोर ब्रांच हु वॉन्ट्स टू क्लियर गेट और वॉन्ट्स टू गेट ए सीट इन द पी एस यू दैट्स वाई यू आर सीरियस इट्स इजी टू टीच द सीरियस गाइज इट्स नॉट इजी टू टीच ऑल द गाइज ओके सो टीचर्स जो कॉलेज में पढ़ाते हैं सारा कसूर उनका नहीं है जो बच्चे पढ़ते हैं उनका भी थोड़ा बहुत कसूर है तो शायद अगर मैं कॉलेज पढ़ाता तो शुरू में पढ़ाता बट बाद में शायद कम कर देता बिकॉज इंटरेस्ट ना लेते बच्चे उतना कोचिंग <laughs> ना पढ़ना पड़ता या दैट्स ट्रू एक्सपीरियंस्ड एफ एम एस और पकाऊ थे सुला देते थे एग्जैक्टली सर आई टू वॉज लाइक दैट बिफोर कोचिंग या इट हैपन्स यार इट हैपन्स एवरी स्टूडेंट गोज लाइक दैट मैं भी स्टूडेंट था तो मैं भी ऐसा ही था उतना पढ़ने में ध्यान नहीं था आई नो की बुक्स है बुक्स से मैं पढ़ लूंगा बुक्स से पढ़ के अपना हो जाएगा सो वाई टू गिव अटेंशन इन द क्लास सो आई नेवर गिव अटेंशन इन द क्लास ठीक है सो टीचर्स ने क्या पढ़ा है क्या नहीं पढ़ा है मुझे कुछ याद नहीं होता था अगेन जो बुक्स और जो नोट्स में लिखा है वो पढ़ा और पढ़ के पास हुए है तो सब ऐसे ही पास होते हैं ठीक है टीचर से तो कॉलेज में पढ़ के कोई पास नहीं होता सीआरी के सर थे एमटी पढ़ाते थे <laughs> कॉलेज में बड़ा स्कैम चलता है यार बहुत स्कैम चलता है ओके तो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द फ्लैश डिस्टिलेशन नाउ लेट्स कम ऑन टू द स्टीम डिस्टिलेशन सो राइट डाउन स्टीम डिस्टिलेशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल राइट डाउन व्हाई द स्टीम डिस्टिलेशन इज यूज्ड व्हाई द स्टीम डिस्टिलेशन इज यूज्ड सो यू कैन राइट स्टीम डिस्टिलेशन इज यूज फॉर डूइंग द डिस्टिलेशन स्टीम डिस्टिलेशन इज यूज for doing the distillation steam distillation is used for doing the distillation steam distillation is used for doing the distillation of steam distillation is used for doing the distillation of heat sensitive material steam distillation is used for doing the distillation of heat sensitive materials heat sensitive materials hum delhi mein hi padhate ho ketan nahi yaar main all over the india padhata hu delhi mein nahi padhata all over the india padhata hu so i travel also maharashtra gujarat uttar pradesh east india rajasthan ओके एमपी ऑल्सो टू सम कॉलेजेस नेवर केम टू साउथ 
but yeah i have the experience of teaching in at lot of places but now it's the online world so online world mein to koi jana nahi padta yahan baithe hi ho baithe hi hum sabse baat kar sakte hai teach kar sakte hai <laughs> attendance cut kar le jati thi bahar nikal diya jata tha uske baad <laughs> sahi hai we went to the class for the attendance purpose only yeah that's true me also for the attendance purpose only कॉलेज में लैक्स में फीस देते और नॉलेज नहीं गेन करते हैं और यहाँ पे सिर्फ थाउजेंड्स में देते हैं और पूरा नॉलेज मिलता है दैट्स आल्सो ट्रू शरंगा बट यहाँ पे जो नॉलेज मिल रहा है उसका भी बेनिफिट तभी है जब आप उस नॉलेज को अपने पास रखो और अपने पास रखने का एक ही वे है रिवाइज इफ यू रिवाइज दैट नॉलेज विल रिमेन विद यू सो स्टीम डिस्टिलेशन की बातें चल रही है तो राइट डाउन द स्टीम डिस्टिलेशन स्टीम डिस्टिलेशन इज यूज फॉर द सेपरेशन ऑफ हीट सेंसिटिव मेटीरियल्स Steam distillation is used for the separation of heat sensitive materials. Heat sensitive materials. Okay. So, what are heat sensitive sensitive materials? As the name suggests, heat sensitive material. So, this sensitive word. I already told you this about this in the PDC about this sensitive word. Okay. If the system is highly sensitive. then for even a small change in the input there will be a appreciable change in the output hai na that is a meaning of sensitivity so which means for the heat sensitive material if there is a change in the heat energy or if so much of heat is provided to that then that material cannot withstand against that heat or it will just decompose or it will just break okay so there are many materials jinko aap vaporize nahi kar sakte ओके, देर आर मेनी मटेरियल्स लाइक दी एग्जांपल इज एस टू एस ओ फोर एस टू एस ओ फोर को आप वेपराइज नहीं कर सकते बिकॉज एस टू एस ओ फोर इज अट सेंसिटिव मटेरियल एंड लाइक दैट देर आर मेनी अदर्स दो नॉट बी वेपराइज बिकॉज वट हैपन्स एज द टेम्परेचर इंक्रीजेस एज द टेम्परेचर इंक्रीजेस बिफोर अटेनिंग इट्स बॉलिंग पॉइंट लेट से दिस इज द बॉलिंग पॉइंट एंड द टेम्परेचर इज इंक्रीजिंग सो बिफोर अटेनिंग द बॉलिंग पॉइंट Maybe at this point or at this point, the material decomposes. वो decompose हो जाता है. So boil होने से पहले ही, vaporize होने से पहले ही, वो decompose हो जाता है. वो H two S O four नहीं रहता. और अगर वो decompose हो गया, तो फिर आप उसे vaporize नहीं कर सकते. So that is the meaning of heat sensitive material. Those materials which decompose before the boiling point are known as heat sensitive materials. So you can write down the definition of heat sensitive also. the materials that decompose the materials that decompose before their boiling point the materials that decompose before their boiling point before their boiling point are known as heat sensitive materials the materials that decompose before their boiling point are known as heat sensitive materials are known as heat sensitive materials yeah don't explore it ah huh? <laughs> okay so heat sensitive material aapko clear ho gaya to problem kya hai problem hai ki boiling point tak nahi ja sakte let's say this is the pressure of 1 atm okay and our mixture of a and b is there this is the mixture of mixture mixture of a and b at a given temperature koi temperature hai wo given temperature pe hai okay so at a given temperature the component a will exert its own partial pressure component b will exert its own partial pressure and there will be a pressure exerted but this pressure exerted is not 1 atm and that's why there is no boiling so what happens when you increase the temperature when you increase the temperature the vapor pressure increases the partial pressure increases the partial pressure of b increases and that why the exerted pressure increases but what happens that if you go beyond that decomposition takes place decomposition takes place 
so before even before reaching the uh, final line final mark before reaching there isse pahunchne se pehle hi the material decomposes okay that is the meaning of heat sensitive material now how to do we do the steam distillation so for doing the distillation what we use we use steam so inka kya ilaaj hai inka ek hi ilaaj hai steam add karna okay we add steam hum steam add kar dete hain now steam add karne ke do way hai first steam first case steam is miscible with the given feed if the steam is miscible with the given feed then the pressure exerted will be the partial pressure of a plus partial pressure of b plus the partial pressure of steam hai na if steam is miscible with the given feed then this is the pressure exerted and second if the steam is immiscible immiscible with the given feed if it is immiscible agar immiscible hai then it will behave as a pure component and if it behaves as a pure component then the pressure exerted will be partial pressure of a plus partial pressure of b plus the vapor pressure of steam and why the vapor pressure of steam because steam is immiscible and if a component is immiscible it will exert its vapor pressure because it will not be a part of the system okay so you tell me in which case the p exerted is more in this case or in this case in which case the p exerted is more in the case of steam is miscible or in the case of steam is immiscible in which case the p exerted is more sir can we comment about the relative volatility of heat sensitive materials yeah comment to kar sakte ho but uh, uska fayda nahi hai because आप कभी भी वहां तक पहुंच ही नहीं पाओगे दैट इज मेन डिसएडवांटेज। ओके इमिसिबल 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 वेरी गुड देर इज अ क्वेश्चन सर फ्लैश डिस्टिलेशन से प्रॉब्लम्स कैसे सॉल्व करेंगे और इट्स जस्ट फॉर द डिटरमाइनिंग द एक्सपेरिमेंटल वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई नहीं इससे प्रॉब्लम भी सोल्व करेंगे और प्रॉब्लम सोल्व करने के लिए ही मैंने तुम्हें यहां पर बैलेंस लिखवाए थे ओवरऑल मास बैलेंस ओवरऑल कंपोनेंट बैलेंस in that component balance i told you the x and y star are in equilibrium and for that equilibrium they will give you some relationship or they will give you the alpha value so there is a relationship in x and y then there is a mass balance equation then there is a component balance equation so in total there are three equation one equilibrium one component one mass balance and there is a total of six variables f x f l x v y six variables three equations so out of those three two will be given to you and one will be asked so f given hoga x x f given hoga v given hoga maybe or y given hoga char given hoge aur panchwa b given hoga to chhota puch lenge okay jo jo bhi difference hai us difference mein se do given hoge aur ek aapse puch liya jayega so that is a general type of numerical which is asked Okay, don't worry. When you solve the great questions and when you solve the assignment questions, you will be clear about this. कि कैसे questions करते हैं. So yes, you all all right. सब के सब right हो. The pressure in this case is more. And this is the reason why. Write down this point. Very very important that the steam distillation is used only when the steam is immiscible with the given feed. That's a very very important point. Steam distillation is used only when the steam is immiscible with the given feed. Steam distillation is only used when the steam is immiscible with the given feed. Ke liye. Steam distillation is used only when the steam is immiscible with the given feed. मिसिबल uh, के लिए किया तो काम बढ़ जाएगा या फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ये एक तो प्रेशर एक्सर्टेड कम है इफ द प्रेशर एक्सर्टेड इज लेस 
देन यू हैव टू इंक्रीज द टेम्परेचर फर्दर टू रीच वन एटीएम पहली चीज मोर एनर्जी इज रिक्वायर्ड बिकॉज प्रेशर कम एक्सर्ट हो रहा है स्टीम का इसलिए टोटल प्रेशर भी कम एक्सर्ट है इफ टोटल प्रेशर इज लेस यूनिट टू इंक्रीज टेम्परेचर टू रीच वन एटीएम पहली चीज दूसरी चीज इफ द स्टीम इज मिसिबल देन एट द टॉप यू गेट द मिक्सर ऑफ ए एंड स्टीम एंड दैट मिक्सर ऑफ ए एंड स्टीम इज मिसिबल और अगर मिसिबल मिक्सर है तो उसमें से उस स्टीम को अलग करने के लिए फिर से एफर्ट करना पड़ेगा सो एट द टॉप यू गेट ए मिक्सर ऑफ the more volatile component and the steam and more volatile component and the steam are miscible so so separate them unko separate karne ke liye you need to put more money so you need to put more money in this case for increase in temperature further and you need to put more money for the separation also because steam is miscible so that's why this case is never used it is never used so the steam is miscible with the given feed steam distillation is never used it is used only when the steam is immiscible with the given feed okay an example for heat sensitive materials sir yeah i gave pradeep h2so4 sulfuric acid the boiling point of sulfuric acid is 340 degrees celsius but before reaching 340 degrees celsius the sulfuric acid decomposes english yeah ओके सो बिफोर थ्री फोर्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस दी एस टू एस ऑफ फोर डीकम्पोजिस ओके सो फंडा इज at this point the decomposition takes place what we do we add steam here so when we add steam the pressure rises without the change in the temperature so whatever is the temperature here at the same temperature we can reach here because the pressure exerted increases so p exerted here and p exerted here this p exerted is without steam and this p exerted is with the addition of steam to aap ise aise samajh sakte hai obviously reality mein to yahan se yahan jaane ke liye bhi steam use hote hai because steam is not just exerting its pressure steam is also providing the heat jo heat chahiye distillation ka wo bhi steam de rahi hai so temperature rise is also because of steam and pressure increase is also because of steam but just for the understanding point of view that at this point initially decomposition is taking place if i increase the temperature but now if i add the steam then obviously the pressure will rise so at the same temperature we can vaporize the given feed by the addition of the steam theek okay? hai so this is how the steam distillation takes place the only purpose in the steam distillation is to reach at the point of p1 atm and to reach there we are adding the steam steam not only provide its vapor pressure but also provides the heat so it helps to increase the temperature up to a level and also helps to increase the value of p exerted so that 1 atm can be achieved and boiling can be done so that is the advantage of using the steam distillation Why we didn't use the miscible steam, Abhishek? I told you, if miscible steam is used, if miscible steam is used, then further you need to separate it from the more volatile. Now, if the steam is miscible, then the top product, which is initially the more volatile component only, now the top product is more volatile component plus the steam, and that mixture of more volatile component and the steam is miscible. so what you need to do you need to apply one more separation process to separate them so after distillation also maybe there is need there is a need of one more distillation or maybe one more unit operation in order to separate the steam with the more volatile component so that is the reason why we don't use this when the steam is miscible because there is further cost of separation theek okay? hai
या वापस बता देता हूं मैं फंडा बड़ा सिंपल है इनिशियली वी आर एट दिस पॉइंट वट वी डू वी एड स्टीम एज वी एड स्टीम द टेम्परेचर राइजेस एज द टेम्परेचर राइजेस द पार्शियल प्रेशर ऑफ ए एंड द पार्शियल प्रेशर ऑफ बी राइजेस बट एज वी एड स्टीम द स्टीम विल एक्सर्ट इट्स ऑन प्रेशर टू सो स्टीम हेल्प्स इन टू वेज इट हेल्प्स इन इंक्रीजिंग द टेम्परेचर विच इंक्रीज द पी एंड द पीबी वैल्यू and it also exerts its own vapor pressure that in turn again helps to increase the p exerted so p exerted becomes equals to 1 atm much before the actual boiling point pa aur pb ka jo boiling point hai us boiling point pe aane se pehle hi before reaching that boiling point the mixture boils and why because of the addition of steam so steam helps to increase the temperature which further helps in increasing the value of pa and pb along with that the steam also exerts its vapor pressure which further increases the value of p exerted so there are two contributions of steam in the steam distillation it helps us to increase the temperature such that it increases the p and the pb value and also it exerts its own vapor pressure so that the p exerted increases and that's why you can attain the boiling you can attain the vaporization much before the actual boiling point of the mixture of a and b so that is a funda so total pressure will be exerted less in case of miscible this is also the reason yeah yes utkarsh this is also the reason maine dono points bataye the pehle ye point bataya fir separation ka point bataya and because of both the points wo case hum use nahi karte hain theek hai to i hope ye samajh aa gaya hoga the addition of steam provides the heat which in turn increases the pa and pb which in turn increases the p exerted also the addition of steam provides the vapor pressure which in turn increases the px so p exerted is more in comparison to before when there is only a and b present so because of the addition of steam vaporization takes place much before the boiling points of a and b पॉइंट के बाद टेम्परेचर बढ़ेगा पॉइंट वन के बाद नलाय को दिस इज द पॉइंट वेयर पी एक्सर्टेड इज पी ए एंड पी बी ठीक है व्हाट वी डू वो एड स्टीम जैसे ही हमने स्टीम ऐड किया इसने अपना वेपर प्रेशर एक्सर्ट किया so as it exert its vapor pressure px will increase also it provides temperature because of which the pa and pb will increase and it reaches 1 atm so this this increase it's not only because of the rise in pa and pb but also because of the addition of steam which exerts its own vapor pressure this increase this increase is not only because of the rise in pa and pb but also because of the availability also because of the availability of vapor pressure exerted by steam theek hai to ye jo rise hua hai this rise is not only because of pnpb because if this rise is only because of pnpb then this rise won't be possible as a and b mixture is heat sensitive mixture but this is because of the availability of the vapor pressure exerted by the steam so that is the funda ओके सर टोटल प्रेशर विल बी एक्सर्टेड लेस इन केस ऑफ मिसिबल दिस इज आल्सो द रीजन ये तो हो ही गया था पढ़ लिया था पॉइंट वन के बाद टेम्परेचर बढ़ेगा बता दिया ओके क्लियर क्लियर थैंक यू ठीक है सो स्टीम डिस्टिलेशन इज ओवर नाउ आई नीड जस्ट वन मोर क्लास टू फिनिश द डिस्टिलेशन सो होप सो कि टोमोरो द डिस्टिलेशन विल बी ओवर ठीक है सो कीप रिवाइजिंग द डिस्टिलेशन एंड टोमोरो विल फिनिश इट फॉर श्योर 
सो थैंक यू गायस थैंक यू